In this episode, we are back on the build with the home improvement boys over at Matt Armstrong's house where we've been doing a paddock down in the bottom field. Now, in the last video, you'll see us getting all the first fix pipe work in and all the plumbing into the paddock area and since then i've been back and i've connected the water up to the back of the paddock and the waste pipes at the back of the paddock building so that bit is what is coming first then we're back here today and it is wrapping up day basically we're getting everything finished off as much as we can we've got the soil pipe to get in up the top there we've got to move some of the cars out of the way to start with getting the soil pipe connected into the house because it's got a pump system coming from the paddock there's loads to show you on this but first of all Let's start with what we got done a couple of weeks ago. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. As you'll have seen just from the little lead into this, we are finishing the job at Matt Armstrong's and the Home Improvement Boys massive shout out to them for inviting me onto this build with them we're wrapping it up you'll see at the end of the video matt's reaction to the bathroom that we've put in and the whole build itself so thanks to the boys at the home improvement channel and thanks for matt and hannah and everyone that's worked on this job because it's been absolutely brilliant so as you'll see on this video because i'm working on this job with the home improvement boys they like to film a lot of stuff different to how i do it i do it with my gopro as i'm going along their production values are a little bit higher so it's quite a nice little behind the scenes look at how they do stuff and how the bigger channels spend time making content so yeah hope you enjoy that if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button i'm mark it's real world plumbing this channel i show stuff when it goes right when it goes wrong little tips tricks just my day day in day out stuff every day is completely different so you've got some brilliant content coming up also i want to give a little shout out to unilite here who sponsor the channel and as a thank you from unilite they're doing me a deal on this the il 175r perfect little pocket torch 25 quid delivered hit the link below and i'll put all the details there but yeah perfect little pocket torch magnet there magnet there stick it onto the boiler casings or in cupboards or whatever that moves around like that USB C charger light on the end light there honestly this is really bright and then there's also a light on the back end as well so i'll put the link in the description meant to be 50 quid get it for 25 quid half price 25 pound delivered to your door that's enough plug-in of that light. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one. We are back at Matt Armstrong's house with the Home Improvement Channel. Finishing the paddock, well, probably not finishing it, getting more bits done on the paddock build. We've got the waste pipes to do out the back. I'll quickly take you and show you around the back. Everyone's getting ready because it's starting to rain. All the soil pipes going in down the back. We've got the blue poly main going in. Brad's got his jacket on because it's raining. I'm not going to speak over Mark until he stops speaking, but hello, guys. <laughs> yeah, for all those that moan that Brad and Phil were talking over me, Brad's not saying a word now until I let him. Go on then, Brad. Thank you. Right, let me get you a bit of close-up. He's only stepped you around, guys. I'm going to show you, Phil. Give him a close-up of what he's got to do. I don't know. He's got to fix all that. He's got to do all that. <laughs> That's I've just arrived, so... Influence. What are you doing? Intro to my video. Oh, sorry. Welcome on to Mark's channel. <laughs> Put Liam's head on it. Let's get him on. Let's... Influence on the block. Hello there. Welcome to Mark's channel. Welcome where nothing subscribe. gets done. <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? That's that side banter. <laughs> right, I've got to move my van because apparently I'm going to get stuck down here. Oh, Am I getting yeah. stuck? Even Jade said I'm getting stuck, yeah, so... The truck will stay. Should be okay. Yeah, so I've got to get the van back up there now. Let's see if we get stuck. Right, let's go. Hopefully, I'm not going to get stuck getting back out. It does look a bit boggy here, though, to be fair. Oh, no, we're stuck. Need a better run-up. Right, I need to concentrate on this one. We done it, we got out. The van is absolutely covered. There's mud all over the window. I'm, I'm gonna get out and show you. I bet the van is covered. Yeah, van is absolutely covered. Note to self, Mansori wheels, rogue alloy wheels. The rogue alloy wheels got us out. Yeah, look, just a little bit. The van is covered, but we got out and it, the heavens have opened got through there with a bit of a run up from down the bottom of the, the field sideways across here right over the back here come past here nearly took the gardener's van out but managed to get ourselves up here just might need a bit of a clean off now so i've got the van out 
after ripping straight through a field, got it back up the top. Don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up. We got the end of the rainbow in the field at the bottom. Brad's just ran down to film it. But how cool is that? It literally finishes there. Like, like this. Okay. <laughs> it's getting... Right, Double. listen. Inception, mate. <laughs> camera on camera. We're going to sh show you the real life. This is Are what you ready? we have to do. Three, two, one, and filming. So with that cold main connected to the top of the field, I'm here now to connect the waste and the water into the bathroom. What the f They did it to one, they did, they did that to <laughs> They did that to one. You just, jokers. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, Leo. We was just hey, saying, me, I was just we here, was just saying this fuse board here looks <laughs> so, uh, split the wood. He's mashed it. It don't look after nothing. Well, no wonder he's giving it up. <laughs> I've learned from various other people that it's an ongoing project. It's not finished yet. It's really YouTube like... finished. <laughs> it's like so far. <laughs> Liam, Liam, it's finished yet. Liam, you know the aircon guy's coming tomorrow, yeah? What's that guy doing with me? He's doing our garage up there. Can he his uni light jacket on? Up, not here, up there. You better speak to him then because he just called me. He's coming like, a week on Friday. This week Friday. I just, I just got off the phone to him. He's coming tomorrow. I ain't got his number. You want to ring him? Oh, you want to get your bit done? Yeah, right. you can Sorry, look, distraction. You can row with Liam. Three, two, one, and filming. So with the water now connected to the top of the field, we're going to move on to connect the waste water into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, this is how hard it is filming here, guys. I'm trying to do my bit, and he's behind. You, 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 you like, like new influencer. What, what I think this is like, I think this is like, if you can film here, when you go filming on your own, it's going to be a piece of piss. It's easy. Yeah, absolute it's, piece it's, of piss. it's going to be a doddle. Doddle, <laughs> doddle mate. Walking apart. I <laughs> mean. Right, now ring this air con, geezer. How was that? Was that all right? I'm going to check it. Yeah, that was good. Right then, we're finally getting some bits done here. What we're going to do with this waste pipe coming out the back of the bathroom, the bathroom is literally the other side of this wall. We've got the waste pipe coming in here, so we're going to pull this out, get our pipe snug on it, that's going to cover that hole that we did. The same with the shower, the inch and a half, and the base of the inch and a quarter. We've got some snugs to go on there, some pipe covers to go on there. Then we can boss into the saw pipe, send it all the way down there. Got to connect the blue poly up to these two cold feeds that are going in. Now, we are going to put insulation, external insulation on all of this, as well as a stop tap. And we've also got to put an outside tap in further down. What we're going to do, first of all, is get this out and get this pipe snug on. And also, this saw pipe is going down into, what's the chamber that you've put in? It's a mini pump station. A mini pump station in there. And then you see this. <laughs> we're not what is this? 60, is this 63 mil? I think it's 63 mil external damn it and i think inside's 57. so that is going to be pumping the waste is going to go down into the little pumping station chop it up it's like a bit of a macerator but then it's pumping straight off that all the way up to the house that you can just make out up there i've never done one of these before so i'm going to be really interested to see how it pumps all of this it, up there works. or even if it does it should do we've confirmed with them we did have a moment last time i was here i had a bit of a moment because i've never seen one before i don't even i've never heard of one it's so not, it's not it's not a macerator it's a oh that's right so it, it's not a macerator apparently it goes in spins around however and basically flies it up to the house how far is the house up there 60 meters 60 meters 60 meters and so it's three meters incline Three meters up, 60 meters across. Hopefully it's gonna fly it all the way up there. We'll see. But anyway, we need to get this done first. So we start off by getting the screws out of the bracket that's holding the saw pipe on. This had all been put into place when we first fixed it a while ago. So we've just got to get that out and then begin to ease this saw pipe out. Now we've got to be really careful because the other side of the wall has already been tiled. So we don't want to knock those tiles off the wall. So what we're going to do now is get this pipe snug onto this four inch and push it through this hole. This pipe snug just covers the outside of that hole a treat. So it looks nice and neat. Like that. And then this saw pipe slides straight through. Then as you can see as well, Brad is here with his camera out filming a reel he'll be putting out on his Instagram. So we just ease that pipe work back in and Phil is the other side of the wall pulling that pipe work through. So we've got the waist in now, we've got the four inch in with the snug on it, inch and a half for the shower, pipe snug on it, and the same for the basin. So what we're going to do now is move on to getting this cold main done 
Where is it here? Stop tap. So we're going to put that stop tap, I reckon, about there. We're trying to work it so that I can then connect the two cold feeds going into the building. So if we put it there, and then we can come off the top, elbow across, there, there. And we've also got to send a pipe over to the outside tap that's going in over there. So we've been getting a bit carried away and I haven't filmed any of this that we've done. But we've got the main stop tap coming in here, straight off the top, some Munson rings, press fit all the way across. That is feeding what is the other side of there, the toilet, and that one is feeding over to the shower and the basin. Then we're dropping down here for an outside tap that is gonna go under the decking. Brad's got the lagging on that, so that'll be over that far side. And then what we're gonna do here is put some external lagging onto it so it won't freeze up before anyone mentions it in the comments. So that is what we got done a few weeks ago. Today, we are trying to finish everything off. Since I've been away, because the home improvement lads, Phil and Brad, are doing this job themselves and doing the majority of the work on it, they have got the bathroom suite in. I first fixed it, got it to that point. They second fixed it. So we'll take you in later on and I'll show you just how good the bathroom looks. But what we've got to do today is connect the drainage from down in the paddock right up to the house. That's where Phil at the minute is digging a trench across for the pipe work to go because I've never done one of these before. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a bigger sunny flow basically, but it works on a vortex and it shoots the drainage water from the paddock 10 meters uphill and 60 meters across to where the house is. So what we've got to do is get this dug out, expose the four inch and connect this in so that we can get rid of the waste. So we've had to move a couple of cars out of the way and Phil is big digging the trench across. This black pipe is what he's pulling straight across and we're gonna go into that soil pipe just here. These are the ones that feed from the house. And we've gotta get into that. Me and Phil have just finished putting the pipe work down, right from the paddock down there. It's run up and this is the first one of these I've done that we've teed in to a soil pipe here. All this is being raised up, so there's no problem with that being at depth. It's gonna all be finished, but that's where it's connected in. Let's go down now and turn it on because it's a vortex fill, isn't it? Yeah. We, 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 There's no macerator, which is very confusing, but apparently the poo <laughs> spins round spins round and shoots out. We, when this, when this point was called up down the bottom, it had filled up with rainwater. So we turned it on it's got and some, it, yeah, it, it it's flew got out, didn't power. it? Yeah, it's got some So pressure. it's got a lift. What is it? 10 meters? Is it 10 meters hot? What's the... Uh, no, no, it's about six meter rise and it's a 65 meter run. So it's got some way to go. Yeah. So let's go down and give it its first little... Uh, Fingers crossed. First little test. It's yeah, still it dead busy in there. I will take product. you in I'll, at the I'll end of the day into there and show you the bathroom, but Kev's still in there painting and they're doing stuff in there. But that pipe that we've connected up at the house comes down into this gully here. So... <laughs> Let's get some ink to get that off. What it does, it comes from the bathroom in there, out through the, the drainage along here, into this tank, and then when this is turned on, it pumps it back up to where we've connected up there. Right then, let's get the lid off this and see where we're at. So it's got like uh, a flow switch in there, same as a sump pump, but I'm just quite interested. Apparently this is a vortex, it spins round and shoots out of here all the way back up obviously that's the saw pipe coming in and then apparently it just pulls it through but what's interesting is there's no macerate there's no blade so i don't know how it's going to get number twos up there assuming just with sheer force so what we're going to do is fire it up and see exactly what happens so we just turn this pump on and it's basically inside you know how a sump pump works you've got your float valve here so if i lift this up that's the actual pump triggered and starting to work but obviously that's coming from the bathroom as the water level builds up it's going to pull that up so it floats about there and then it will trigger the pump to work but what we're a little bit dubious of is getting your bits out of here because everything's going to float so yeah we're gonna we're gonna pop some toilet roll in and uh just check to see what happens with it right then we are just about wrapped up on this job now Brad's doing a little bit of paint. Uh, gloss, no, what is it? Staining. We're staining. That's the word I was looking for. We're protecting the thermal AOS timber. Is that what it is? That's correct. Where have you read that from? A book. <laughs> I it earlier. Right, I'm going to take you inside now and show you the bathroom. Like I said earlier on, 
I did the first fix to it and the boys from the Home Improvement Channel fitted the rest of it just for time, for the time of the job and to push stuff along. But I've been in there, made sure everything's all right. So I'll take you in now and just give you a little look over it. We have this. Oh, this is my. the small version of the Amazon rainforest. Have <laughs> <laughs> we won you this, over with it yet? The tiles are my choice. It's <laughs> it not been sure. Good. So look, you've got like a shower. You no, can you use the shower not. after you've been in the hot tub, which is great. Which is, and this, is, this room is going to be nice and warm. We think like the vibe is absolute. This is a full on. Like I would be so happy if this was my house. Look at that easy bathroom supplied. All the bathrooms on this job. Nice little toilet inset. Concealed system in there, nice little basin, round sit on basin on top of like a granite top on there, and the tiles, the tiles look amazing to be honest, really, really good. And then the shower we have got, and I helped develop this shower probably 18 months ago, two years ago now, and it's the Triton MV. It's just that touch panel that is on the wall there. I'm not going to turn it on because we just had the silicon guy Martin out to silicon everything up and mastic all the corners and everything. But when this gets powered on, touch panel on the front, you can set every sort of setting you want and everything on there. So if I wanted to go into the shower, it would be set for Mark. If Matt wants to go in the shower, it can be set for him. Hannah can put her own configuration and have it exactly how they want it. And they've got the rainfall at the top and then obviously the body one at the side. But yeah, I mean, it, yes, it's a little small bathroom, little ensuite sort of size bathroom, but what this is gonna be down here is just sort of like a little, getaway area for when they're out in the field, doing whatever they want to do. I think they've got motocross bikes and all that sort of stuff. We've got a hot tub over there. Kev Paint, where he's just finished doing his little bit of painting around there. But yeah, it is, uh, it is looking really good. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.